dancing knowledge. There's been a couple times where he will very deliberately like dash dance or laser right outside of someone's way range in like a disrespectful way. So it'll be interesting to see how kind of uh, he adapts to Josh Smith's neutral. And such a different start. We're going to Dreamland, that big stage. The stage allows you to get as much data as possible compared to last set where we were going FD because both of them just wanted to kill each other off the crap. There we go. <laughs> All right, see, way more patient, really just feeling out each other out. I mean, Josh, a, a, a fox who loves to dash dance, feel out different zones, move between spaces, and see where his opponent likes to play. We'll call it. So, Lucky is blue, right? Uh, Lucky yeah. is blue, yes. Lucky's yeah. port four. So, uh, yeah, I was just checking the ports. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. It's on the uh, the overlay. Oh, yeah. you'll love to see it. Yeah. Got so, yeah. We, we, See here, such a this is such a long stock. <laughs> We're going into a minute, no stock taken. This feels longer than some of the games we just watched in the last set. Up smash will kill on Dreamland that percent. I mean, even the like starting stage being uh, Dreamland compared to FD, like, is such a stylistically different thing. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh my oh, god, he finished it! God. That is such a huge swing. That was a steal of the ledge. Josh Van going up two stocks immediately, keeping this up. What a back oh. air! Nair! And one more for good measure. Just it, it took a minute to take the first <laughs> stock and 30 seconds to take the next two. Uh, if you're lucky, like, what are you thinking there? <laughs> I, like, honestly, go I, next? I think this is one of those things where you're just like, whatever, this is just Fox Tettos. I yeah. feel like as much as it's absolutely crazy how Josh Man is kind of running away with it, this is also one of those matchups where, like, the four stock mental damage or, like, even kind of crazy lead hurts the least, it feels like, you know? Right, and I mean, this is an opportunity to, to collect some more information. Because, I yeah. mean, the four stock hurts a little bit because it takes a minute and 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, FX, like, we move on, next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you know, like, like at this point, you 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 know, you take a deep breath, you you chew your gum, you think about what can I do differently, and you go right back to the stage where you <laughs> just got three stocks, or or you know, <laughs> is, this, is this a mod <laughs> thing? Like it's, it's just a mod thing. It's like game one didn't happen. Yeah, I, I honestly wonder if this is like <laughs> turn okay. turn that was hand warmers, right? <laughs> I, I do actually wonder if this is like legitimately a run back. Like, okay, all right, well, I'm going back. I, I got to prove that 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 you know was a fluke. No, sometimes that you need that, right? Because I mean, Dreamland isn't giving Joshman this magical advantage. It's, no, exactly. it's Fox Ditto. You can do the same thing he's doing. Right. I mean, what? Two of those stocks were lost to just him grabbing ledge off the side beat. Yeah. Like you can make a little adjustment and change a whole lot in this set. I mean, that's melee in a nutshell, but especially in this matchup. What an F smash! Yeah. And now I think we're about to see Lucky with a lead. Yep. I mean, off to a very different start. Good chase. Oh, nice there. wave land. Honestly, if there was ever a, a good example of like how playstyle dictates the game, it is juxtaposing this versus the Moki Aklo set. Yeah, 100%. It is just so much slower, so much more patient, so much more precise, and not forcing scrap situations. Uh, more just kind of playing spots that are favorable and trying to look for simple openings. Yeah, it's, it's they're feeling each other out. Yeah. It's, like a, yeah. it's really methodical, really... Yeah, yeah, methodical is a good word for it, absolutely. This is a nice old-fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> this is not, no one's going crazy, no one's going like bonkers. You're just rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. And then whoever won neutral gets a hit. Good backer there. Holding ledge, but Joshman picked a really smart angle. Yeah. Dead anyway. Hey, man, Lucky says those too. I, I stand correct. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, <laughs> speaking of stand corrected, clearly, like, I love the point that B-Bats made earlier about, like, these are two very adapt adaptative players, um, and that, you know, we're seeing that adaptation right Look now. at this game. <laughs> this is so different from last right? three uh, stocks to one once again. Hey, man, maybe this game didn't happen either. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, like, B-Bats really proving me wrong that this is kind of so much about, like, uh, making those tiny adjustments to the player themselves. He gathered, while getting three stock, Lucky has so much in his head. He gathered so much data, and look at what's happening. I mean, that's experience. That's just seeing all flavors of Fox and knowing how to deal with them. Yeah, I mean, Josh might guess the upper there. But, you know, 9% is not that much. Two stocks, you know, you could easily get kind of uh, a gimp and then a big, big combo. So. A neat little back throw in the corner, never no. hurt anyone. <laughs> really did not. Okay. Gets off ledge, what a ledge. Back Beautiful. Oh, oh Josh Man oh. finds the shine, and we are last stock. Oh, Speaking of like gimps. A, a huge lead just evaporating. Back air from Lucky. Oh my for gosh. A second, Josh Man gets the. Oh. Okay. Tech that, chase. Oh, oh <laughs> what a fantastic mix up. Uh, Josh Man expecting an up smash, and Lucky punishing that in such a crazy way. 
From the other side of the stage, too, like... Lucky has hit two F smashes to take stocks that game. A, a move I don't even think... I think we saw maybe once in the Aklamoki set. Like, that is the... That's the old-school classic. He's hitting it with stuff that Josh Man's like, this isn't the optimal decision. But sometimes that's what matters, right? In a game where the... Like, melee, some people feel it's so solved. So making those ballsy moves, taking those big rifts, can pay off in dividends, right? Yeah, especially a matchup like Fox, where this is the matchup where it's God. like, oh, I can kill them off one hit if I do this, 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 and this. Lucky showing you there's different options and mix-ups that get you kills earlier. Yeah, there's. I mean, as Uncle Punch out of their mind as everybody is, there still is such a thing as playing the player. A hundred percent. All that said, though, I feel like if there's a stage that kind of... What a back air. Oh, my God. Do you see the laser turnaround? That was so clean. I think a stage that might kind of magnify some of uh, Lucky's weaknesses is FD. I feel like uh, he isn't able to leverage kind of some of the smarter neutral decisions, some of the DI mix-ups as heavily. This is a lot more where the flow, ch flow chart matters. Yeah, this is brute force punish game at yes, its finest. exactly. Right? Like, you know, you're not going to be doing kind of F smash mix-ups on uh, FD nearly as often. No, you're just mashing your face yeah. against your controller. Exactly. Against the Uncle Punch tech chase simulator. Yeah, Josh, said it. Josh is saying, I've been in Uncle Punch for more hours than you. I'm going to kill off grabs more consistently than you. What an air dodge from Lucky, escaping and getting the reversal. It's also like, in the last set we saw a lot of drill, because that drill shine, knockdown tech chase is just so potent for both players. But these guys, a lot more spaced aerials, a lot more sensitive approaches. Up smash still kills off the side even when we get <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Man, that, that move oh. sucks. <laughs> yeah, it, he needs it. it. <laughs> <laughs> if Fox didn't have up smash, how would he kill? Uh, Poor what a back air from Josh, man. Oh, oh Lucky got to ledge first. This is yeah. big. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Armada Shine. That's it. Oh, the classic. What could have been a three stocks to one. Lucky just evened out. Okay, but he is. Uh, he's find a way to come down. Of course, does make it there. Escapes, finds his way trapped in the corner, right. but finds the grab. The big opening. Shine. Uh, Huge opening. Gets the wrong hit of back air, though. Gets the tech Great chase. CC. Love the turnaround. Looking for something. That's fancy. dead. Yeah. <laughs> and he charges an up smash on stage to prove a point. He's sending a message with that one. This would be a huge win, honestly. I this feel like massive. Uh, Lucky really showing up today. Man. Josh Man shaking his head, knows what a lead oh. evaporated in front of him. Yeah, and, and as much as we, we were... Dead! Oh. No, never mind, drops the edge guard. <laughs> Now I'm already yeah, really nicely played short. That's it. That's it. Not gonna make a difference, but holy shit! What could have been a three stocks to one game ends up being a two stock from Lucky off one reversal, one opportunity. And as much as we were painting Lucky as a boomer, man, he had those tech chases on deck. Oh, he was fucking cooking, yeah. man. It was, <laughs> he, it was he's crazy. not doing the he's not doing the the crackhead shines, but no. he's RTCing like with the best of them. Mm. Really good awareness in certain situations as well. Uh, kind of opting for certain moves that you aren't used to seeing, like kind of like a back air in a weird spot, that kind of thing. But I like that Josh Man kind of switched it up here. Going back to FD would have been kind of a strange choice in my opinion. You know, I definitely agree. I think giving Lucky a boost in that punish game is what kind of cost him. Because leads matter, leads matter leads matter a lot less when punish game becomes that simple. Ooh. The other thing to think about too is that uh, Lucky here because of the JMOOC DQ. And so he's someone who kind of has to prove like, hey, this is not a fluke. Like I, I, I'm going to earn this spot. and. That's what we're seeing so far, like looking really, really, really solid. 100%. But Lucky's always had that it factor. I mean, yeah. someone who, when you see him in a top eight, no one no one here is going, Lucky? Because we're just used to this. So Lucky at his best is as good as any player, right? 100%. He's a guy who's always punched so high on his good days, and this is looking like a great day for Lucky. All that said, you know, we've been singing the praises of Lucky, but Josh, Josh Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Josh is like, like consistent top 10 player, someone who is just like, uh, really killing it in a variety of different characters as well. He's been playing Sheik a bit more. So, yeah. I mean, because Josh has just been a mainstay of top eight lately. So, 100%. yes. He is the fo he's a fox you always expect to make it there. If you, you reg for a tournament, you're expecting to see him on Sunday. Every single time. And, I mean, that was lucky for years and years. Yeah. But uh, clearly showing he still has it because he is. Says, don't be shocked if you see me on Sunday <laughs> now. Decades into the game. <laughs> Interesting back air choice. Uh, a little uh, off on the percents there. Lucky managing to live, and that gets kind of another second opportunity. I love uh, yeah. Pokemon Stadium. It's such a high percent on Lucky, though. Nair is going to start doing some work here. Are we going to see an edge guard? Oh. Great angle decision. Hey. 
He Seth paid a lot of money for that angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can say that, right? I think we're allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Great that's... punish from Josh, extending this lead. <laughs> Both up tilting <laughs> at each other. Uh, it's like, no, you come in, please. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to run it? Great yeah. air. Yeah, this. Wow. Josh Man kind of yeah. leveraging Fox's speed to kind of make it look like he's not controlling center while still controlling center. He'll be halfway across the stage and be like, no, 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 this is exactly the range that I want you in. And now Lucky's doing the same. See here, good air. That's the stock. Lucky Three stocks to one. 69% <laughs> in the corner, 69% on the screen. All right. Okay, that's a big up tilt, but great DI. Ooh. Dead. Oof. That's a lucky shake in his head. Miss input on the drill brings us to another game five? Man. Yeah. <laughs> another game five Fox did of all things, too. Like, not, not a matchup that you typically think of as, like, down to the wire. It's usually more swingy. And it's just because of the way momentum and kind well, of it, dictates the pacing. Well, because, you know, it's, it's one of those matchups where punish matters so much. And whoever's playing hot typically can steamroll. Like, it's a volatile matchup, but it can, it can, you can see a lot of commanding leads. But, I mean, not today. Wavelength uh, gracing us with some pretty tight sets so far. Yeah, and now we're going to Yoshi. Such a small stage, so constricted. Both players are going to be on top of each other constantly. They said, man, we've had enough time trying yeah. to suss each other out. Let's yeah. just get them. We have the data. Who <laughs> studied more? That's all this is. The final oh, exam. We're all, yeah, this is exam day. Dash a great back air. Oh, what oh, a oh, shine! I was mentioning the back airs earlier. That's a great example of what I'm talking about. Who does a turnaround back air there? Like, no one else. Really good mix up. Still didn't land, though. Randall is there to save Lucky if he can get there, but no. Back to even. Calling out lots of people going to top platform. Yes. Suck. No, that's like the safe space in so many matchups. Hugging right? ledge. Got a pop up there. Oh, this is so you don't big. Want to be what there. a nair. He gets clipped Bird, anyway. No. The singe on the up. Oh my god, no shield grab. So many times. Sitting in shield so long, looking like a rival, too. <laughs> <laughs> Great up air from Josh, man, not finding the extension. And now just dash dancing center stage, saying, all right, take a breather, and then we're going in. What oh. a back air. Great call out. Oh. <laughs> Randall is trying to get Such the lucky. A tease today. <laughs> yeah, stop trying to make this about you, Randall. Two degrees of separation away from Cloud9. He's this coming in for the homie. <laughs> this is a big... Okay. Great down tilt, great nair. Josh Man's punish game is looking oh. immaculate. But a drop once again. Lucky needs this. This is kind of how you get uh, control of the game once again. Real smart side be the ledge, because even if it got grabbed, he still would Randall. Yeah, Randall was going underneath. There. Great out there. timing oh. as well to go around the SDI. Lucky not happy about that shake in his head. Yeah. He's got to lock it in. Josh Man over 100%, but clinging to this third stock. Uh, I just, man, it's tough to go for those when you it know really your, is. your final stock of the set. You make okay. your opponent so desperate to find that yeah. opening, get that kill, but Lucky finally seals this out. Lucky catching Ooh. on to the fact that oh, Josh with the Man has gone to the ledge repeatedly. Yes. Great slot off, though. Doesn't cost him too much. 45% <laughs> on Yoshi's. You do not want to go any higher. This is the stage that punishes you for that the hardest. Okay. Lucky doing a good job of slowing it down, though. Finding a couple knockdowns for his trouble. Oh, oh looks for gotta it. go for it, though. Like, really, really like to see that he's doing that. Great nair from Lucky. Setting up a tech chase scenario, but didn't capitalize. Oh. Dash tech again, getting too antsy. Reading on that tech chase when. Oh. Shine! But, All right, we're going to last done. stock, guys. Oh my god. Josh Man shaking his head, knows that he just gave up a massive lead. Lucky looking to capitalize. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Good this grab. Is so big. But Great I, slide off. I don't like the back throw there. I feel like just the wrong percent. Oh, the double down. The first knock. Oh my gosh. This is. Oh, oh what a grab. grab. Go oh. shot. That, this is insane. The back throw again. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's it. That's it. Lucky popping off. Lucky makes a massive comeback. A three stock comeback and seals out a loser's corners appearance. Man. Let's let's fucking go. Like, what the? Betting it all on that, okay. Jordan. Okay, I like the finger wag, too. Lucky, look, 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 like, okay. Everything about was how Lucky slowed that down. Um, 
and like really, really precisely picked the right spots. There were a couple like moments too where Josh Man not super aware of the percents going for a back throw rather than going for like a reaction tech chase on a platform. I don't know. It's those adaptations. It is the development. It, Lucky kept so much in the pocket. We saw him shoot a few reads off, but when he finally got them, he puts Josh Manner so much pressure, that last stock, he crumbled. Oh, oh man. We oh, need that, to see that hurt. Yeah. That, the, <laughs> that hurts the soul a little bit. I mean, you got to let Lucky have yeah, a moment, though. Sometimes. That was, that was a big win. You, Josh Man has been such a consistent factor in these top eights. One of the best foxes in the world, without a doubt. Lucky knows that that was a mountain to climb. And you know what? Some people make it up Everest. Man, it, it, it's tough, though. Josh Man, I think, not knowing quite how far he was going to slide up on that platform, trying to shorten the ledge. Yeah. So those little miscalculations in the moment make all the difference, though. So now that the little gun.